welcome back to my channel my name is Ajwa today I guess I have a little chit chat um, just want to share how I started my whole um, fragrance journey and where I normally get my fragrances from because people ask me where they can get uh, some of those fragrances from and I always have to just tell them so today I just want to share with all of you how my whole fragrance journey started and um, where I normally pick up my fragrances from I didn't start my whole fragrance journey like much much earlier my very first experience of um, being gifted a fragrance was I think I was in level 300 you know back in the university level 300 that was around 2006 or 2007 and I have this friend um, he traveled and when he was returning he brought me a perfume at that time it was a money code for hair um, when it got finished I guess wanted to you know always smell good because I loved it that much so I would just go to town buy whatever I could afford whatever my hand you know my my money could you know afford and then because I was then an university student and I didn't really have money or I didn't have any money at all so I'll just buy the local ones or whichever one is available and those ones when people would gift you stuff you know when it's your birthday and people ask you what I wanted I'll just say oh a bottle of perfume before I so between that 20 2006 you know through the other years I went through that was when the whole Britney Spears um, fantasy the curious the um, Jennifer Lopez glow um, Beyonce's heat you know I went through those fragrances as time went on and I really enjoyed them so um, the last about five years ago I really started um, having much more interest in um, acquiring or getting more fragrances and I started with um, Avon products, you know, because those ones are readily available. They are much more affordable, you know, and they are also good scents. So I started with Avon products, you know, I'll get them, the Incandescent Glow, Avon um, Little Black Dress, which I still have, you know, and other Avon products, you know, and I, I, I really enjoy them. Um, what I really have not re um, been interested in is, is body mist. I don't really like body mist. You know, the, um, there are so many of them. There are quite a few from Bath and Body Works and Material Secret and um, Chariosa, you know, Brazil Brazilian crush that I, I enjoy. But on the whole, I don't really like um, body mist. I prefer fragrance, fragrance, you know, because I like um, thick unisex masculine scent even if they are on the feminine side they they have to make a statement and over the last couple of years let's say in the last um two to three years you know just before covid hit it was just you know i started watching all these jeremy fragrance a uh, um who was um jeremy fragrance um um joy amin so many of them, I started watching them, Georgette's Fragrance World, um, who else? Um, Paulina Shah. There are so many of them I started watching and it was like, at that time, my, my interest really was that high. I was like, I need to try this, I need to try that. And, you know, um, but here in Ghana, finding variety, you know, it's quite a challenge because they are priced so high that um, the average person cannot really, you know, enjoy these designer and niche fragrances. Um, I know they are quite expensive, but I think, I don't know how, but the prices here can be a little off-putting sometimes. The very first one I bought was um, Flower Bomb Midnight. That was my very first designer fragrance. And then a few weeks later, I started getting other ones. And that was back in 2020. So I really enjoyed those fragrances. And um, I also delved into um, Ross, um, um, Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack, all those, you know, um, departmental stores, any anywhere I could just find fragrances, I'll just look for it and go. I have bought fragrances from Walmart, from CVS, from um, the Ross, the Target, the anywhere, you know, any store that I can just find fragrance, 
I'll just look through if the price is right, you know. So I started picking up these celebrity and designer fragrances. And in 2000, 2021, that was when I started getting into the whole Middle Eastern fragrances. I just felt like there were cheaper alternatives and I, I just didn't want to spend a lot of money on um, these designer and niche fragrances. So I delved into that. I enjoyed it. I liked them because they are stronger, you know, they are stronger. They project more. They last um, much better than a lot of the designer and um, celebrity fragrances. So I began picking them one after the other and that was how come I started building the whole collection and uh, when I finally made a decision to create a channel to also um, talk about fragrances I also started picking more you know which I still do but it's something that I guess don't want to go overboard I'm not um, a backup bottle kind of person i i don't really believe in that you know i just feel like i have just too many fragrances to be buying backup bottles so i prefer to use up the fragrance when it's um, exhausted and i feel like i really need that particular one then i can go for it um although i have some favorite fragrances i don't think there's any fragrance I have in my collection that I cannot live without. That is the truth. I, I love some of them, you know, I would always want to have them in my collection, but I don't think it's that deep, you know. I don't think there's any particular fragrance that I'll go like, if I don't have this particular fragrance, something is going to happen to me. No, no. Um, I can, I, I, I know how to sort of control myself when it comes to those kind of things. I know how to let things go, you know, and um, I don't feel um, so attached to one particular fragrance to the point where I, I need to have a backup bottle, you know, two backup bottles waiting for me, you know. I, 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 I don't know. Maybe I have not gotten there yet, but hopefully I don't get there. So that is basically my um, fragrance journey. Here in Ghana, I normally purchase my fragrances, the Middle Eastern ones. I normally get them here locally. And um, I get them from the, um, there is this um, beautiful lady called Thelma. She's at Thel's um, Avenue. She sells these Latafa, Ad Al Zafaran, all the Middle Eastern brands. She sells them. So I get them from Tel, um, from Tel's Avenue. I also go to the Makola Shopping Mall um, in Accra Central the new one you know there there is an old one and then the new one is in front of the old one so um there are some about five or six perfume shops you know but there are two of them bb perfumes and another one that i frequent that is where i get most of the um middle eastern fragrances from apart from that i also get some from um perfume mania centopia i usually go to centopia i guess to sample the fragrances and and come back you know and these are the places that i personally get my fragrances from and also go to sample these fragrances uh, the disparity or the, the the variation when it comes to pricing is quite um it's quite disturbing because one fragrance that you can you know get for let's say 200 cities from one shop will be sold around 400 cities by another shop you know so i always encourage people to to shop around just ask for the prices don't just enter a shop and buy because i don't know why they do that especially these online sellers you know fragrances that you can get in the shops for like um 150 or 200 cities um which is about 20 or 30 like 20 or 15 to 20 dollars others will be selling it as much as 50 dollars which to me is ridiculous so before i buy any fragrance i really go through you know the shops um, i ask around i check online there's this gg you know online i check from the vendors there to see which one you know and i've made friends with just um, i think about with two of those guys and if i want something i can't find i just call them and then um ask if it's available so that is how i normally buy my fragrances 
when people also ask me for what I want for gifts, I also tell them I want fragrances. So I've been gifted quite a few of them. And um, that is basically how I was able to build up this collection. Moving forward, I don't want to... I don't really want to be um, overwhelmed with this whole fragrance um, collection. I I really want to, in as much as possible, be able to enjoy them. You know, I think a lot of um, reviewers and fragrance enthusiasts who are on YouTube would tell you that they buy some of the fragrances just to review, after which they don't really have uh, much use for it. So they either declutter or um, sell it. So. Probably in future, I might also, you know, try that. But for now, um, I think I have just about one or two fragrances in my collection that I absolutely hate, you know, and would like to get rid of them. But even that, I don't want to just do it in a hurry because you, you never know. You can always use it for other videos. So I think I will just hold on to those two fragrances for now. But in future, when I feel the need to really let them go, I think I will let them go. And if I have to gift, I've also, you know, looked through, I've gifted some of the fragrances that I feel are not, you know, um, my taste or, you know, those ones I do not really like. I've I gift them sometimes. I just look through, okay, maybe this person will like this and I just give it, gift them to them. So that is what I do with um, my fragrances. So for now, I am looking forward to um, adding a few more to my collection. And those few more that I, I want to add are uh, fragrances. I have, I have, some of them I have sampled. Some of them I have just... Um, watched and um, researched about them and they sound really amazing to me so my intention is to further sample some of them to see how much i truly um, like them and if it's really something i need in my collection because i don't want any redundancy in my collection i don't want um, too many fragrances smelling i like you know then there'll be no use you just like i guess wasting money buying fragrances because they are really expensive some of them are expensive so um it should not make any economical uh, or economic sense to be having fragrances with similar um, scent profile so moving forward i want to have i have just a few on my wish list i would want to um get so probably for christmas i want to make that uh, my christmas gifts to myself and you know i intend to get the affordable or mid-range fragrances and if i can afford it get the ones you know that i truly am curious about and would like to have in my collection they might be on the higher side but uh it all depends how you know how things go and uh, i don't want to waste a lot of money on fragrances so i, I also i'm trying to be also um, a little more careful with my spending because i have other responsibilities too i would love to be able to do this for a, a very long time you know it just had a, as a hobby for me so for now i will treat it as a hobby um with with the with the hope that it turns into something great for me that is my um my wish or my expectation but for now i'm not expecting much um from it i'm just doing it because i love it and i guess for like i have these fragrances so why don't i share um, my experiences with people who might have less knowledge about them. I'm still learning. I still watch a lot of um, reviews, uh, but now I've, I've streamlined sort of the people I watch. You know, I am now also trying to find the ones that I I really identify with or the ones whose um, whose videos really speak to me, and I prefer those ones over others. So that is what I'm trying to do now. So um, I hope you you just go with me on this journey. It's it's always exciting when I have to film. I I normally film in the evenings. You know, it's around it's around um, eight thirty p.m. and I'm filming. That is the time I normally film my videos. I hardly film in the morning or afternoon because I'm quite busy during those times so when my day is done and i'm settled and i'm you know i'm just more relaxed that is when i film so sometimes i'm able to film one video at other times you know when i'm not 
that exhausted or totally exhausted i push and film about two or even three depending on the length of the videos i also try not to make my videos too long you know so that at least the interest will be there that people can watch the videos Thank you so much for joining me today. Please consider subscribing if you are not subscribed yet. And if you're a returning subscriber, I say thank you. It is people like you who, who are making this possible for me, motivating me to um, come up and film these videos. And I'm grateful for your support. So don't forget to also like my videos, you know, just give them a thumbs up and, you know, it helps the channel to grow. Thank you. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.